What's up, y'all? My name is Aaron Mallory, a.k.a. Mr. Let Go, and I have one particular question. What if virtually every single thing that you've ever heard black men say about black women was actually true? Whatever just came to your mind, what if that was true? This is what this conversation is going to be about. This is about to be good. Before we get started, hit the like button, 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 hit the like button. Hit the like button. So, so, <laughs> so why I do you think can't do that. some, because it's not all of these black men. No, it's not all. Why do you think some of these black men prefer white women over black women? Oh, I know. They hate themselves. Well, no, I have an answer to that. Wait, wait, wait. I have a letter. Let me, let me, what do you, why, I think, why do you think they hate themselves? Here's my thing. I don't think there's anything wrong if you want to date someone outside of your race. It's it's like, why? What's the why behind it? It's different. Like, okay, I fell in love with this woman. This is a woman I want to be with. It's mm -hmm. a whole other thing. Like, I just don't date black women. I don't like them. They ghetto. They loud. Like, stop your right mama there. black. Stop, stop right there. Your mama being black ain't got nothing to do with his preference. If if I don't like, not me, but because I like, I love black women, I, I don't really see myself falling in love with a white woman. Because you're real close to me right now. <laughs> it, it could happen, but I, I just don't see it happen. No, it's not but I'm never going to be somebody who's going to be like, I don't, I wouldn't, I just don't date white women. Mm -hmm. yeah. but I'm not saying I wouldn't, but I just right. don't want to. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. But at the end of the day, what if all of the stuff that y'all say about white women versus black women was true. What if all that, oh, they too ghetto, oh, they too loud, they too masculine, they won't let me speak, da 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 What if all of that was true and some men were just like, you know, I ain't doing this alone? And it's not that, like you say, they hate themselves. What if they're just tired of y'all crap? But here's the thing. Answer the question first. What if? But I don't think that's true. That, how could what, it possibly wait, be stop, that stop. all black women? What if that was true? Don't go around the question. <laughs> what if, if everything you heard about black women, the negative side of it, mm -hmm. what if it was true? And some men said, I ain't doing it no more. What if? Oh, too bad. <laughs> I don't know. I want to hear an answer. I want to hear an intelligent answer from both of y'all. Mm. I, I think it's true to some some sense um, because because it's a fact. It, it, it's, 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 it's a fact. It's a it fact. just depends on the type of black of, of women, women have that a, a man is, is attracting and wants. Um, yeah. Like I have a brother; he's pretty successful, um, and he actually started dating white women. Um, he's mm -hmm. divorced. So, um, but what I'm saying, he said he saw the, the difference in between the dating a white woman and black. He he said the white woman was more mild. She he she really supported him. Um, she really, she really just was feminine, you know, because oh, we don't have that. Brother already made me not like him. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, um, but Be every black woman, he said, was masculine. Who's not feminine? Who not feminine? You're not feminine. I am. She feminine. I definitely am. <laughs> and I definitely, if I'm with a man that I trust, mm -hmm. yeah. I yeah. can be submissive. I love that. I love, what, what, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, you are feminine Contingent. Dependent on the man. Wait, right, that's what I'm saying. You are contingent feminine. You are not feminine. You I are am contingent. Feminine, but feminine. you're gonna get a different vibe from me depending on who you mm -hmm. are. But that's not gonna mean it, I'm gonna okay, be masculine. Let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. And it's not I, when I say masculine, I don't mean man like. You know <laughs> what I mean when I say masculine. Assertive. So, assertive. Yeah. So so. Uh, I think that's strong. Like. Stay with that. Stay with that. We'll say strong instead of masculine, okay? I prefer it, that. it makes you that, feel that better. Works. Okay, so let's let's do this. So, do you feel that you're more strong on a normal basis or you're more submissive on a normal basis? I think I'm in between. Which you are more strong on a normal basis you know, like or that. you're more submissive <laughs> on a normal basis? When a, with a man or when I'm by Period. myself? Period. I said on a normal basis. Are I'm you more going? strong. Thank you. It's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. So this is all I'm saying. You prove my point, and it's okay because I know <laughs> I know you you want to be right. It's okay. But at the end of the day, what if we are sick of 
y'all being strong. I'm tired of being strong. That's one thing I'm tired of too. So you tired of being strong too? Yeah, so you want to just chill. I know somebody got it. And just like I said, when a woman gets with me, all that strong stuff goes away. (laughs) And she just. Because you you give her that, that. You know, I give her that feeling, right? She because I become the strong You're factor, masculine. right? Yeah. Right. And what if other men aren't able to achieve that and get their woman in some type of way to just ease off a little bit? That and they like just something wrong with them. I agree. I agree. I totally agree with you. So some of these men who say, I'm tired of these these, these black women, this black women, blah, blah, blah. Go to white women because they don't have it in them to fight the black woman. So they're weak. Yeah, but with me, really I don't need that stuff because yeah. I don't have you're those type of problems. Self. You're yeah. authentic in your every you woman. I, yeah, every woman I've been yeah. with, I've been cheated on. I, you know, so I'm not gonna say every woman has I been. I feel some nice perfect. masculine energy. He got masculine energy. Like, 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 yeah, like, like, yeah. I'm a man, man. I'm a man. <laughs> right. So thank you. But the I thing about it is, yes, energy, okay, <laughs> energy. <laughs> right here, she knows, she knows, right here. So, she knows. Yeah. So I've had my share of issues with women, yeah. but a lot of the things that these other men go through with black women, you don't go through. I don't go through them. Yeah, because because they know you ain't gonna fuck. <laughs> Right. So and because you probably your energy doesn't bring that out of them. Yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, thing, yeah. right? With every person, I feel like with any person, you mm-hmm. can either bring the best out of a person or the worst yeah. out of them. We all have yeah. our good and evil. Right. You know. Right. Right. Um even myself, I am a very loving, passionate, like love, 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 love up on you all type of day. I, I I I'm when I'm with somebody I'm their biggest cheerleader. Like mm. I ga I gas you up all day. But if I ain't got nothing gas up, I ain't gonna say that. Ooh, so and so yeah. what are you looking for now? Yeah. Uh, I wanted to mention that. Like so, what are you um, what are you looking for now? Because I know we spoke earlier um, about so, what, you, what you're discovering about yourself. For me right now, I think it's really important. I've been a serial monogamous for most of my life. Okay. You know. Um, Why is that? I haven't been in a lot of relationships, but I've been in lengthy relationships. Okay. Um, and I think a big major reason that is, is my grandparents are married for 45 years. Mm. My parents are married for 22 years. Mm. My aunt got married at 18. Yeah. I grew up seeing marriages. That's all I've known. Um, as a little yeah. girl, I, I've thought about the dress I'm going to wear to my what It's my whole it's life. Sort of a lot of. Yeah. Of yeah. we're saying here. My whole life has been about me, my husband, and my kids. Yeah. You know, so of course I always knew I would be a career oriented woman. I would be mm-hmm. successful, but I would never feel like completely a hundred per a hundred percent successful without, a man. without that marriage. I that, love that that that, unit. that when when that right man or that right energy is is around you, you're able to like chill a little bit. Right. Right. And here's another thing, I feel. I feel. Oh, she got you back. <laughs> Wait a minute, baby. Okay, I feel the fact that um, you said when I'm able to trust somebody. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. You you said when I, when I'm able to trust somebody, mm-hmm. uh, you you'll let down and right. you'll be submissive. Right. That is a beautiful thing. Right. Because a lot of times, the biggest problem with black women isn't their attitude. Right. It's their inability to trust. But you got to think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Why do those women have, a lot of those women have issues with trusting? Because they've been um, L, I mean, they've been R or M. R or M, what's R or M? I don't really want to say the <laughs> I, I'm thinking. They've been raped or molested. Not only that, but a lot of women have absent, a lot of black women have had absent fathers. So your first relationship that you know to trust love. with a man, and your first love is your father. Mm-hmm. If you haven't yeah. had that, and that man has been absent in your life, and mom, is, and then you is have a struggle with your whole person, exactly making you a little slave and have you cook and clean <laughs> and. <laughs> and uh, where my remote control? Get my girl, get my remote control. Right. And you can't tell I don't know where the remote control at. Right. She's gonna give you a whooping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Increases level of 
you 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 don't trust. You, yeah. you, you're not able to be. Who do you trust? Ain't nobody yeah. around. And right. you're not able to be vulnerable. A mm -hmm. lot of black women struggle with vulnerability. Yes. A lot of black men struggle with being vulnerable as well. Uh -huh. So you have to kind of look at like why that is the situation. Yeah. So I think that a lot of women, um, a lot of black women have that level of like they haven't been able to trust. So then when they get in relationship, they always feel like they're protecting themselves. And then, depending on the men that they have been around, maybe they haven't been around men that they know are going to care for them and protect them and provide for them. Mm -hmm. And so then you end up getting with this woman that has all these walls up and she constantly feels like she needs to protect herself, that she needs to provide for herself. Mm -hmm. So here comes up, oh, I'm independent, I'm this, I'm that. I feel if yeah. I have to be overly independent with you, I don't want you. You don't, well, yeah. I'm not interested. Here, here's another side of this though. When a woman gets to the point where she's just giving up on the thought process of finding finding a good man mm -hmm. that's going to take care of that family and marry her and all that stuff. All she really has to do is flip the strip, and it's a bad thing, strip not a good thing. Script. Flip the strip. <laughs> flip, flip, flip the script. Flip the script. <laughs> flip the script. <laughs> flip the script uh -huh. and become sex and shelter to a man. Mm. So you're not necessarily looking for a man to run your household anymore. You're just looking for a man to be in your household. And he no, ended up becoming... You don't become... never want to get to that point, baby. Ooh, no, baby, there's, there's, no, there's no. a lot of a women... A law. Yes, at your house. There's a lot of women <laughs> like law. that. A law. A law. So instead of being a wife, you just end up being sex and shelter to a man. But some women don't... But that way, you got a man sleeping in your bed. You got a man uh, uh, to come home to or whatever. This but just, that's, that's she knows that, point, that he he's never going to marry her. He's never really going to get a good job. He's never going to do anything in particular mm -hmm. that that would that would like mm -hmm. grow the family. Mm -hmm. He's not the leader or anything, but at least she has a man in the house and she's his mother actually. Mm -hmm. 